um, look at the state of me. Not long out of the bed. Uh, feeling a bit better, but I still feel really low, spaced out. But that'll be the kickback for the fibro. Um, holding it all together and being a brave uh, soldier. <laughs> Not. <laughs> On the way home. Um, has its knock-on effect. Sorry, the light behind me is not good, is it? Um, so I'm going to go up and have a shower in a minute. Uh, baby bear wants to go to town to meet her friends. Uh, I'd like to walk the dogs, but my foot is sore, to put it mildly. Uh, I'm toying with the idea of going to what we have a walk-in here in Weymouth, where you can just... I guess it's a bit like an A&E, but you just go in and see um if it's just a toe that's fine and i just put up with it but my concern is that i might have broke a little bone in the foot um and if that heals wrong it wouldn't be nice you can tell i'm a bit spaced out can't you i can't really think straight i'm um yeah not great so uh booze in the shower i haven't walked the dogs yet it's a ridiculous time of the day already it's one o'clock. Um, I've been awake since ten. I've been down here a couple of hours actually, just chilling out, sorting the bird cage out again, making everything, trying to get everything back to normal. Dry mouth. Um, and that's about it so far. Dogs are sort of hedging around each other, really. I guess they're sort of like a bit. Standoffish with each other. Where have you been? Why did you abandon me? Sort of uh, thing. Um, yeah, so I need to get my foot sorted. If it's going to be like it for a while, I'm going to have to get myself one of those electric brum brums so that I can walk the dogs. <laughs> Monty will love that. He'll just sit on the platform and not go anywhere. I was talking to the bear fan, boo. Oh, hi. <laughs> She's in the shower. What? She's just finished in the shower. Yeah. Now, she wants me to go to the car and get the hairdryer, but I'm naked, sort of. And my toe is enormous. I'll put it in the okay, boo. I don't know what's going on with my foot. I'm struggling to pull it up. Just feels like a red hot poker inside. Anyway, stop whinging on. Um, we'll catch you up. Catch up. Catch up with you when I'm decent. <laughs> when I take Boo to town. Even filming. Right, I said I'd check back in with you once I'd had a shower. We have had to put the aircon on, so we have petrol now. We have lift off. The car is still full of cack because I can't limp to and from the car. There's a wasp in the side of the car. No, it's not inside the car. Oh, no, it's not inside. I said on the side of the car. Yeah, right, Boo's inside. going into town to meet a friend. I'm trying to decide whether to go to the hospital and ask them about my foot. But the dogs need a walk, and I can't decide whether to limp up the hill with the dogs. If I limp up the hill with the dogs, she's going to call for B to pick her up. You might have to get the bus home. Because mm. I'm not going to be able to run back down the hill like I normally do. <sighs> um, yeah, so I'm just going to go and check it out. I suspect my little toe is broken. And they'll just tell me to stay off it as much as possible. And they'll strap it to the toe next to it. I was just about to say, why is everyone on the wrong side of the road? Yep, they all are on the wrong side of the road. I can't decide if the pain's less than yesterday or whether I just got used to the pain every time I push on my foot. <laughs> so I've got to fight my way into town, haven't I? Middle of the holidays. Fight my way into Weymouth. I think the bus is looking favourite. I think bus pass again, don't you? Uh-huh. If I get you a bus pass, will you use it? Well, uh, exactly. What the hell are they doing? I don't know. 
Oh, I was about to go on the wrong side of the road then. Get some Bongella. Got some at home, but you won't use it. It stings like heck to start with, but then it sorts it out. It'll be gone by the next day. Just gotta be brave and bung it on. Anyway, I'm sort of refreshed, but I still feel really tired. Um, I slept till midday again. Yeah, I slept till about, well, I was up about an hour and a half, two hours in the middle of the night when I went up and got painkillers. Then I lay and did some, answered some comments on the vlogs. Then I went back to sleep. What time was that? What, that I was on the doing that? Yeah. Mm, like between two and four this morning. was on fire. Just felt like somebody had lit a torch in it. Didn't put the grapes in the fridge. No, they'll be going soggy even key. I'll try and do it on the go. <sighs> Sorry, we're not very entertaining are we today? Don't know what to tell you people. Right, that's Boo dropped off. Baby Boo, Baby Bear. I have so many stupid nicknames for her, you'll have to get used to it. Um, Gussie's another one. Gus, Gussie. Anyway, enough of that. Um, Weymouth is heaving. Just queued all the way into town just to drop her off. I just told her she's going to have to find a new meeting spot. Oh God, there's holidaymakers in the road. They're just all ambling around. My foot is killing me. I'll go up to a and &E. I was toying with the idea of just walking the dogs, but <laughs> breaking is a breaking hurts, breaking hurts. Ow! It's weird to be in the car on my own. In fact, it's weird to be on my own full stop. I'm feeling a bit odd. Been with Bear, uh, Ellie for like three weeks solid. How many parents can say that, that they've spent like one-on-one -on -one time with their kids for like three weeks? I'm so lucky that she uh, wants to come away with me still. I don't know how long it'll last, bless her. It is just the fabro. <laughs> Breaking is so painful, I don't know what to do. Oh, red traffic light again. I hate Weymouth in the summer. Is that wrong of me? I like Weymouth to myself. I think that's very selfish. I know the town needs all these people, but I would much rather have it to myself. I like the beach. I like walking down the beach in the winter when there's nobody else on it. Oh god, there's inflatable unicorns and inflatable flamingos and oh my days. I need to get out of this town. It's giving me the I bet A and E is full to the brim of people that have put tent pegs through their feet and stuff. Do you know what? If I've actually damaged my foot and I'm going to be off my feet for a couple of days, I'm going to get one of them little electric chair things. <laughs> I'm going to rent myself one. I am. <laughs> I so am. I'm going to look like Madge from um, Benidorm. Ha ha ha! Just call me Madge. Please stop braking everybody. Just drive in a straight line. Why are you indicating right? There's nowhere to turn right. Stop indicating right. The man in front's got his indicator going. If he turns right, you'll be in the sea. Quite amusing, I suppose. Mind you, you might have to go through some people to get there. That wouldn't be quite so amusing. 
I hope Baby Bear doesn't ring me within the next hour and say, can you come back and get me again? I think I'm just going to tell her to get the bus home, Molly. Get the bus home, I'm going to say. Get the bus home. Right, let's pop into A&E and see what's wrong with his foot. So Bear Fam, I have just been in the hospital. I have had my t foot x-rayed. Um, there's a little tiny fracture of one of my toes. But it's, I've got such an odd shaped toe that there's nothing they can do. Um, it's a case of rest it, ice it and all that jazz. So I'm home, off home to walk the dogs. <laughs> I'm off up the hill. Are you coming? <laughs> I'll see you up there. Oh my goodness, Bear Fam, I've just literally hobbled home from the hospital to plan to take the dogs out. I'm talking to the neighbour, and then this person with a huge bouquet of flowers walks past, headed for my house. <laughs> Sorry, stood on the dog toy. Um, and I am stunned. I, I've got a card with them. It says... It says, welcome home, love from Tommy and Betty B. And look at these flowers. My God, they're beautiful. And they match my colour scheme. They are the most beautiful bouquet of flowers. I think I've ever had. O M G. Betty B, Tommy. Wow, just wow. Me being spoiled. When did that ever happen? Betty B, you're a legend. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Betty B. Um, I'm not going to cry. I'm just like literally just back from the hospital. It couldn't have been better timing. Same as the bloke said. But look, I got hydrangeas and uh, ostromeria, I've got roses, I've got carnations, I've got sweet william. <sighs> most amazing bouquet, seriously the most amazing bouquet and you really shouldn't have because you can't afford to spend that money any more than I can. But on the flip side, thank you so so much. They are absolutely beautiful. They smell divine. Mmm, thank you so much. So I'm halfway up the hill, Bear Fam. Oh, I'm sweating like a good and I am limping like a wrong <laughs> oh, oh, I've not known pain like this. This is ridiculous for a toe. The nurse guy said that the fibro drugs, drugs I was on would make extreme pain worse. Normal constant pain it deals with, which is why you're on them. But if you have a spike in pain, for some reason it makes it worse. He said there's nothing to back it up at the moment, but him and his colleagues all believe that anybody with fibro that has like an injury will feel like an increased level of pain compared to what a normal person would, well, a normal, I am normal, but somebody without fibro. Um, so I'll back that up, because at the moment, it feels like my whole foot's hanging off, but it's only a little toe, but good grief. <laughs> so halfway up the hill, hopefully I'll catch you on the top. And here I am. I have to say, that was a tough climb. The fibro, is in full flare. <laughs> Anybody with fibro or not, I mean. Everything just feels so difficult to move. I feel like I'm stuck in cement. And on top of that, 
<laughs> I have a sore toe. I've just given up the pain, I've just got to walk it, walk it off. So, it's quite warm, people. Uh, the hill's still here. <laughs> um, nice breeze blowing, which I'm actually quite thankful for right at this moment in time. Baby Bear's in town with her mate, although she did ring me to ask me how I got on at the hospital, bless her. Um, and then she said she's going back to this friend's house, so she'll probably have to pick her up from there, which will be easier, because it's not in town as such, so that'll be better. Whew. Try and think of something for tea tonight. I might not bother and just let Boo have the portion of lasagna that's left and I can have a cheese sandwich with some oh cheese sandwich with tomato soup that's what I think I may have one of my favorites oddly cheese mayo sandwich dipped in Heinz tomato soup although Little's tomato soup is equally as good I since discovered I don't have to buy Heinz anymore I really do need to straighten my hair It's quite a relief to be back up here, people. Looking a bit grey. This finally does feel like I'm home. It was worth the pain to get up here. I've missed my hill. Got a few people up here today. Surprised it's Monday afternoon. I keep thinking it's the weekend. It's bizarre, isn't it? <laughs> I'm so out of touch with what day it is, what date it is. I really do need to get my head around it all since we're back. Got a sort of medical appointments coming up, I need to remember. Um, but no, I'm finally home. Uh, back on the hill, people. Uh, it's grey. It's not the best up here today. But I'll take it. I will take it.